I'm going to go to the um, eraser and go to the background eraser. The background eraser also has been in Photoshop for a million years. And for this painting concept, it's actually a wonderful, wonderful tool if you change it from the default settings. The default setting of the background eraser, I'm going to set it to that right now, which is sampling continuous, does this which is an eraser, but a bad eraser. In other words, it's a, not only is it an eraser, but it's a blotchy, bad eraser. Its default setting is anything you click on, it will erase. That's the eraser. It adds a tolerance setting to it, so it means it's a bad eraser. Unless you change two things. You come up here for the background eraser, and you switch from sample continuous to sample once. And with that, whatever you click on, it will erase, and only that. Ah. So far, so good. Sample once, this is all you need to remember. Limits, you want to make sure that it is not contiguous, meaning that the pixels have to touch, but discontiguous. That means I can go inside the hair or inside the leaves. Most of your landscapes, if you're using this for a landscape, you've got this beautiful landscape foreground, tulips, beautiful oak tree and that, and a yucky sky. You want to be able to replace that sky and also go into the oak, and where it's gray, you want to be able to select that and then swap it out for a beautiful blue sky or something else. You want to be discontiguous. What you select has to be able to go inside the tree or inside the little girl's hair. The tolerance, you can leave at 50. You can play around with that. That is how close on either side of whatever you click on it's going to erase. Gives you a little bit of softness to it. Let's get rid of that green. And the other thing that you need to select on here is protect foreground color. What that means is on here, and that's not turned on as a default, is whatever you click on, it will erase. Whatever's your foreground color, it will not erase. Now, when you come up here on something as subtle as hair, and you say, I want you to erase this blue, but guess what? Blonde hair on a blue sky is blue hair. You go, I want you to erase this blue, but not this blue. Yeah, there's really no way how to do that in Photoshop, but I'm going to do that here, especially since I know that holding down the Option key on the Mac or the Alt key on the PC gives me my turkey baster so I can click on that light grayish, bluish, blonde hair, and I just set that as my foreground color. So I can go around this image, and simply by holding down the Option key, I can say Protect, move to another Protect. Whatever I click on, it will automatically erase. So what does this mean that this brush can do? It means it can do this. Did I mention children's birthday parties? <laughs> That's cool. That's pitching. Normally, people would be throwing money up on stage here. <laughs> this is a tough crowd. We don't have enough room. We knew that we'd get hurt if we did that. I can hold down the Option or Alt key down on here, so like the skin tone. And now I'm going to come down here and erase this area. Okay, maybe I'm going to click. There's a blue. The ambient light is hitting the, the, the fingers here are kind of bluish. So I'm now I'm going to select on them, go over that. Okay, and I can come over here. I'm seeing a little bit here. Okay. You can clap. That's okay. ACM. Like I said, throw money. ACM says sick, Jack. Love it. I, I, so. I, we're there. talking about enhancing. As I said, your photograph, your clone photograph, the purpose of this class, cloning photographs into paintings, are only going to be as good as your photograph. You, go, you may go, well, I, I wouldn't do this to a regular photograph. You may go, I would totally do that to a regular photograph. I can tell you, you should do these sorts of things for a painting, and there's no reason to. If there's a quick and easy way where you can swap out something and extend it so that your starting position is more potent, why not? Okay. Continuing on, the main thing that you need to remember here is sample once, discontiguous, protect foreground color. The shortcut for foreground color is Option or Alt click. If you know those things, it turns a useless tool into a mind-bogglingly useful tool. The reason why most people have never played with it, and again, we can look at our nice soft wispy hair selected here is because the default settings are useless. You tried it 10 years ago, click, uh, it's no, you've never been back. 
Okay, and that's my job here is to tell you the secret Mickey Mouse Club handshake. <laughs>